Hey guys, so today I'm actually going to be doing a haul video and it's going to be a really huge haul. I've been kind of collecting stuff here and there or purchasing stuff here and there and then when I actually um, saw what I collected I was like oh my gosh I really have to do a haul video because I don't want to have like a 30 minute haul, you know, haul video for you guys. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the nail polish that I've picked up. Okay, so I went to Walgreens about two weeks ago and I picked up this Wet n Wild Bonus Top Coat Fast Dry Nail Color or Polish. I've actually bought three of these sets and they were only $1.99 and you get a bonus fast dry top coat so I have like three of these now. But I got this color which is in Teal of Fortune and I am absolutely in love with teal colors. Um, teal colors or like glass flecks like this glass fleck finishes are my absolute absolute favorite finishes of um, polishes um, and then I also got a set with How I Met Your Magenta but I already use it so and it's just a hot pink with really slightly gold shimmers but you can't really see the shimmers when you apply it to to your nails so that's one thing that kind of disappointed me and then I also got this Wet n Wild Fast Dry in 9021 Orange and it looks like this and it's also a glass fleck. It's gorgeous. Um, I would recommend if you're going to get 9021 Orange and um, Teal of Fortune, get a base color because these are ultra sheer and glass flecks look amazing, more amazing with a base color. And then also from Walgreens, I picked up the Sinful Colors Polish in Nail Junkie. And it's just this really pretty, again, teal color, of course. Gorgeous. Uh, and then I went to Sally's, or my friend actually picked me up some stuff from Sally's when there were no, when there were no Sally's in Hawaii. Because Hawaii opened their first Sally's back in February. I know, right? And she actually bought me this stuff a year ago, and me and her are really bad at rem remembering each other's gifts so she picked me she grabbed these stuff from me um, about like a year ago almost first thing she got me was this nail magic flawless base coat and rich filler and it comes in this box but it looks like this I already used it twice I love this stuff and it was only $4.99 um, my nail polish has not chipped yet Oh, and I love it like it's, it hasn't chipped yet or anything and it's still gorgeous as you can see my nails have kind of grown out can you see that my nails have kind of grown up grown out but like there's no chippage or anything and it's amazing and I love this stuff so and then I also and then she also picked up for me excuse me um, these two beauty secret top coats yeah top coat and hardener um, actually they're both top coats I thought this was a base color, I don't know why. But this one is their fast dry one, and then this one is their hardener. I've already tried the hardener. It doesn't harden as well as I would have liked it to harden. Um, it would, I don't know. It, I prefer the Sally Hansen Advanced Nails, I think that's what it's called. Advanced Hard as Nails. I really like that one. That, that top coat with this base coat is freaking amazing, and you need to go get some of it yet. And then I bought a whole bunch of new NYX polishes. You guys know how much NYX polishes I have, but I bought 11 more. No, 10 more? Something around there. And I bought a lot more um, because where I get my NYX polishes from, they actually restocked with their new colors. So I'm actually looking for Dorothy and Gilded Gold or something, or Gold Gilded. Those are two flakies, and I love flakies. New Wars, new Wars 2010, if you don't have that polish, you are certainly missing out. Um, first color I picked up was Nude Peach, and it looks like this. Uh, definitely, I will be having swatches on my blog just because I kind of have a directory of NYX swatches because I have so much of them. Um, but my nails are actually super short right now, so I'm not sure when I'll be getting the new colors up if you're interested in any of these colors. Um, next one I got is Indigo Blue which is a really pretty navy blue and it kind of reminds me of this one Goss I knew this reminded me of a color it reminds ooh, well, as I drop it it reminds me of gossip column and they're really close in color I would say that 
gossip column is a little this is gossip column and this is the NYX gossip column is a slightly bit darker than this one but it's just a slight so they're really close in color and if you're wanting to get your hands on gossip column and this is I think color color retails for maybe six dollars five dollars I'm not sure but if you've been wanting gossip column definitely get indigo blue um, I haven't swatched it yet so I don't know how they are um, next to each other but definitely I will get those two up next color I got was a shocking purple which is a gorgeous color I haven't swatched any of these yet except for one um, and then Bermuda Triangle I love turquoise so I definitely had to get this one uh, lapis which is a pretty really pretty color and then blue ink this one is purple ink this is like a dark purple with really fine pink shimmers I have no idea if my, my camera probably isn't even picking that up right there but it is a gorgeous purple color with pink shimmers and it's so pretty um Oh, I said blue ink already. And then this is the color I'm wearing today, and it is my favorite hot pink polish. Now, my ex favorite actually used to be OPIs. That's hot pink, but this is more hotter than that, and it's freaking gorgeous. And it's the one I have on my nails right now. So this is pink strawberry. So gorgeous. I love this color and then for this I have like a holographic top coat and this is actually Savina's fairy dust this is their thicker and it's just a gorgeous holographic this is actually their thicker glitters but they have another one that's really close to um, China Glaze's fairy dust but theirs Savina's is way more packed with glitter versus um, what is that called? A Chine Glazes one. So I really like this. And then last but not least, I got I ugh, I got another glass fleck and it's teal green, turquoise, green, more green. Um, and it is emerald forest. I am truly in love with this color. Look at that glass fleck. Oh, I can't, it's not focusing on you. Okay, there. Look at that glass fleck fleck. It's so gorgeous and I love it. So pretty. So I got a lot, and it has like little small glitters, and it's not only glass for fleck, so that's what I love about it. So that's all about the nail polish that I got. And then, um, I picked up some Giordana pol- no, not polishes. I picked up some Giordana makeup about last week. Um, first one I picked up was their primer. And I was really surprised that they had a primer, because I didn't know Giordana even, you know, made primers. Um, and it is, of course, O1 Eye Primer, Eye Primer Base, and it looks like that. I've already kind of used it. Now, this is freaking amazing, first of all. Um, if you use this, you do not need to use NYX's Milk, because this actually has a little, um, pigmentation to it. So, let me just try it. See? So it has a slight, oh, you can't see it. It has a slight pigmentation, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has a slight pigmentation to it, and it is amazing. I've used it once, um, I can't remember if I had it with eyeshadow or without eyeshadow. I think it was without eyeshadow, but it held up really good comparing to Urban Decay Primer Potion. So I might be giving because I made one year like two months ago and I didn't even realize that until like a couple days ago one year went by really fast um, I might be doing a really huge giveaway with only Giordana makeup because uh, I know that Giordana probably you know some people don't even have a Walgreens or a Duane Reed because I know Duane Reed is more like on the west coast more no east coast sorry um, and stuff like that so if you want me to do a really huge giveaway with the Jordana makeup then just let me know if that's a good it's just a suggestion 
Um, so yeah, let me know. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera. And then I got the Giordana Semi-Permanent Liquid Eyeliner. I freaking love this stuff. It is my holy grail. Oh my gosh, this is going to be my favorite. And if they stop making this Giordana, I will hate you for life. Because this stuff is freaking amazing. Um, I've been wearing it. This is, I, I have actually, I have it on right now. Um, and it stays on and it's waterproof and it's freaking amazing and I love it so much. Um, I have tried their old, old formula. I don't know if they still sell it, but before they repackage everything, I tried their, that's, Jordana is actually the first eyeliner that I, liquid eyeliner that I ever tried and it was there in their old packaging. Um, I hated it. I hated that one. It used to run and it was just horrible. But this I love. And you're going to flip. I don't want to say the S word. You're going to flip when I tell you how much it is. It's only $1.69 at the lowest. Lowest $1.69. Highest $1.99. But that's still an amazing deal. And I love this stuff. Um, one thing is that it's a fine tip. But I have grown to love it. Uh, I actually, and look how black it is, oh my gosh, it's so amazing, and it dries really fast, I freaking love this stuff, so definitely get that, if you're looking for an eyeliner, definitely get that, because it's freaking amazing, um, next thing that I got from Jordana is their LOL Lip Out Loud Super Shiny Gloss, and this one is an ASAP 106, and it just looks like this, and again, it's a really pretty dual chrome, can you see? And I like to use this on top of what is it called? On top of Max Hug Me. Really gorgeous color. Let me just swatch it. And it's a dull chrome. Can you see it? Oh, it's not. Oh, there. See? Oh my god. Look how dual chrome that is. It's like so pretty. Oh my gosh. Jordana, if, you're, if anyone's from Jordana is watching this, you guys did an A-plus job on repackaging all your items, and I don't know if you guys reformulated any of your items, you guys did an amazing job, and I love Jordana. Seriously. Um, and then today, I actually went to Kmart, and I picked up a backup liquid eyeliner. This at Kmart retailed for $1.99, but uh, this isn't the packaging that I had when I okay, I bought this one at CVS. I bought my first one at CVS, and it was actually in this. It was in a box. Um, so this is the packaging that they have it at uh, Walmart, but it does come in a second container, which um, it's plastic. I think I think that's what it is, plastic. And it's a box. And then I also saw this color the first time I purchased my my first liquid eyeliner. And I wanted to buy it really badly because the color was gorgeous. But I didn't want to buy it and it was going to let me down. But since, you know, I love it so much, I went and I went ahead and actually just purchased this one. And this is in O2 Always Blue. Look how pretty that blue is. Okay, I'm going to read you what it says on the back. It says, semi-permanent fine tip brush for precision lining, bold pearlized color, all day wear. Yeah. See? And it even gives you a instruction. So, I guess this one is uh, pearled. So, the black one is not pearled. I don't know why it says pearled. It has a shiny sheen to it. It's shiny. Um, let me just pull out another one. So, there are two different eyeliners that there are. Two different liquid eyeliners. There's a shiny one, shiny finish, and then there's a matte finish. This one, the Maybelline Liquid Eyeliner, is a matte finish. And you guys know I love this eyeliner. So, I'm going to just swatch it right in between right here. And I'm going to show you the two different finishes. Have to shake it. Sorry. Kind of, came out kind of liquidy. So I'm going to swatch it right on top. 
and we're gonna let that dry okay so i'm gonna go ahead and open this always blue because i'm really excited to know what its swatch look like oh my god we have three minutes <clears throat> so again packaging gorgeous um also i don't use blue eyeliner so if you can tell me how to use blue eyeliner please do because I, I i just wanted this color because it was gorgeous oh my god uh how come the brush is all funky on this one look the brush is all funky there's like oh it's not funky. there's like one that's like totally sticking out i might have to cut it let me see how this one looks like Oh my god, that is so pretty. Jordana, awesome job. We just make some lines. So pretty. So, this is what the blue looks like. And it's definitely true to color. Oh, it's so pretty. So gorgeous. Okay, so this is a matte. Let me show you. Okay, this is a matte. And this is a shiny. I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but the matte is totally matte and then the shiny has a kind of sheen to it. So, before I didn't like ones that had sheens to it, but now I absolutely adore the shiny ones. Okay, I have one more minute. Okay, so, and then the other day, no, and then also at Kmart, I picked up this e.l.f. wet gloss lash clear mascara because I was running out with mine's one. I have no idea why I use this, but it keeps my eyebrows perfect so I just bought it and then I went to Goodwill today and I picked up actually my boyfriend I got my boyfriend two books which were um, Lord of the Ring books and then I picked up this Betsy Johnson it's actually a watch case this is um, what her watches are sold in but I guess someone didn't want it I mean I want I wanted it and this is Betsy Johnson right there it was only 99 cents so I just decided to get it and it opens up to leopard and this is Betsy Johnson and I thought it was really cute I don't know why someone would give this away but I guess they didn't want it and I thought it was really cute so yep and then you guys are gonna flip I actually got an Urban Decay Stardust eyeshadow it was just like laying there like a crazy person so I, you know, I picked it up. So it looks like this. I don't know. This is probably um, a tester one because it looks like it's in a cardboard box. But it looks like that. And it was only 99 cents. And these retail for like $20. So it definitely is in a cardboard box. And it just looks like that. It's a really pretty purple color. Let me just quickly swatch this for you. So... So it just looks like that. So that's what it looks like swatch. It looks like a really pretty glittery color. I probably would never use this color, but it was only 99 cents, so I just decided to get it. Get it, excuse me. So that is about all that I purchased in the past two, three weeks. Um, a lot, a lot of items. Uh, so yeah, I will talk to you guys later. And if you have any questions or comments or whatever, then swatches will be on my blog. The link will be down below. All the items will be listed down below as well. And I will talk to you all later. Bye, guys!